This week, the housemates have been on a journey of self-improvement. But there's one room where they can find the path to enlightenment. You have successfully completed the transition from mortal housemate to supreme soul guru housemate. The diary room. Monday, day 76, 12.10 p.m. This week, housemates have been living on basic rations. Yeah, no, it's not even about, like, being starving. Mm. It's, it's just more think, like... It's, think about food. It's the, like the variety of food and stuff, and, like, the stuff I'm having to eat isn't stuff I would ever normally eat. For this week's shop and task, housemates must go on a journey of self-improvement and will face a series of challenges to improve their mind, body and soul. This week, all housemates automatically face a public vote. However, the housemates who improve the most in any of the mind, body and soul disciplines will be granted guru status and immunity from this week's eviction. What's the point of being a guru if you can't pull a little bit of weight, huh? Well, that's right. Might as well be normal. I'm not wearing this Santa Claus outfit. Well, being a guru, you should lay some things on for me. You should let me walk around the house and give it a bit large. I should at least have some sort of free course meal. But no, spaghetti on toast, third day in a row. This is Big Brother. Would Guru Ziggy come to the diary room? I found myself quite attractive. Yesterday, Ziggy gained guru status after proving to be the housemate who most improved his mind. Guru. Hello, Guru Ziggy. Good morning. Any words of wisdom? Guru Ziggy. Hmm. How are you finding being a guru? I'm enjoying it. I'm going to enjoy it today. Um, I, I kind of was a little bit tired last night after, you know, the overwhelming experience of becoming a guru. Guru Ziggy. Yes. What is your path to enlightenment now that you are a guru? Our path to enlightenment is to, you know, let me give you a couple of words of wisdom. For every evil under the sun, there is a remedy, there is none. If there be one, try and find it. If there be none, never mind it. Let me give you another one. Straight is the line of duty, curved is the line of beauty. Follow the first and thou shalt see the second ever follow thee. Something I, you know, something I picked up along my way. Guru Ziggy. Yes, madam. Big Brother appreciates your words of wisdom. It's good to hear. I'll be on my way now. 10.40pm. One hour and 27 minutes ago, Amanda and Sam gained guru status in the self-improvement shopping task and, as a result, are immune from this week's eviction. Most of the housemates are in the bedroom. Because we haven't used the guru area at all either, so everybody might be invited in to sit around and have a dinner. Have a dinner? Yeah, in the guru area. Yeah, there is. I'd be right because they might just eat rabbit or... The gurus can only sit there, except if you have an invitation, you know. So the gurus might invite three people to have a meal with them, or well, oh, that's another evil thing. You might, we might have food, and the gurus can invite three guests inside their area while everybody else is watching. Yes, that's another thing that might happen. Yeah. Or the three gurus could cut you all up and eat you. <laughs> and yeah. Big Brother has called Liam to the diary room. Hello, Liam. How are well, you? Hello, brother. I uh, think we can have a couple of beers tonight. I'm feeling like I need to uh, enlighten my mind ready for the spiritual task tomorrow. And a couple of beers might help us do that. Do you think that a couple of beers would be the most efficient route on the path of enlightenment? Yes. I'm sick of wearing this bloody nappy now. It's doing me head in. So how about those couple of beers? 
The kitchen police has took off again and it's battling around in force. Carol needs to make sure what everybody's got and, uh, and how much they're using at a time, how they're cooking it. Uh, everybody's keeping like eagle eyes out on who's taking the most stuff, whereas it's Carol in general steals and hides the stuff anyway. Um, but I'm sure she's got great intentions, so that's fine by me. Uh, but you're kind of sneaking about and not wanting to talk about food in front of her in case she shakes her head and's like, no, you shouldn't have used that. I feel quite at one with myself now. Letting all that out here. Yeah, definitely. I've achieved absolute peace. Now, can I have some beers, please? Choose deer, deer 77, 12.49 p.m. Most of the housemates are in the living area. You know, it's just like little things, man. For example, a couple of weeks ago, we got in the cupboard and we've been without food for, I don't know, two weeks or something like that. And there's a bloody tub full of the brim of chocolate. And I just think, Who at was times... That? There was that, there was two of them. Two tubs, right? And at times when I've sat here and been proper bored and just need a little lift, even a square chocolate would have been sweet eye. Yeah. You know, each time you're thinking, this is when I really, really want something. And then at the end of the week, just before the shopping budget comes, it turns out there's bloody another packet of bourbons left off the week before. But you didn't even like need that. Them, didn't you, in that way? And you just think, oh, for fuck's sake, man, that's really irritating, like. All I'm saying is it annoys me to think that if it's gonna, if somebody's going to take something and decide who they want to distribute it when it's the communal, no, I don't, you know, that's just going to get on my nerves. I don't like. think... Um, I think we need a high-level investigation to uh, who hit the no, cheese. I, don't, I think um, it's Sherlock Holmes. What? Well, the only what? reason I've ever kept anything back is in order to share with everyone. All right. Earlier today, Carol told Jerry to ask permission before taking other people's food, after he used Carl Louise's milk on his cereal. There's two ways here with, with, to deal with it, with, with Carol, basically. One way is to completely ignore her. Mm. I just don't want to be told off, because I've, I've I've held, I keep on holding my tongue. Uh, but, you know... There's two... Yeah, you're, you're exactly listen. right. I want, I want, I want yeah, you to... You want your life back. I want to be able to... So listen. To I decide forth, for yourself. The other... Like, a couple of weeks ago, I put forth I wanted to cook, and I was told that I couldn't cook because the ingredients were using for something else. Jonty and Carol come to the diary room. It's cold in there. Never mind. Hello, Carol. Hello, Jonty. Hello, Hello, big brother. How are you both today? I'm yeah. very well, thank you. Um, OK. Um, one thing I wanted to do, I hope you wouldn't object, the diary room, is, there's a very um, slight kind of interesting odour in here, so I wondered if you'd mind if I put some pure essential oils here. I've got cedarwood, lavender, peppermint and ylang-ylang. Um, if I could just sprinkle a few drops of one, two, three, or indeed all four, a, as you choose, just to make the room smell a little bit more jolly. Big Brother thinks that would be delightful. Lovely, thank you very much. Excuse me. Oh, it's a little bit better already. Yeah, it's nice. A bit more. Which one? Peppermint. I'm done. That's intermediate. Have you got private things you want to? Discussed with them. Yeah, thank I'm, you I'm very much, John T. That um, smells lovely. Excellent. I think that's the end of me, so thank you very much, big brother. Thank you very much, John T. Bye bye. Bye. Carol, how are you feeling today? Feels like I'm getting very uh, grumpy. It's not actually my nature. Carol, why do you feel that you're being grumpy?
I don't know. So I, I just, uh, yeah, I just feel as though I'm, I'm moaning at Jerry a lot, or he's picking up on things as well. But so maybe it's maybe because of the relationship we've got. Um, it's easier because we'll still like each other at the end of it. It's easier for us to sort of have a moan at each other. It's 29 p.m. <laughs> for the past four hours and ten minutes, non-guru housemates have been taking lie detector tests to find the housemate with the purest soul. Both Brian and Tracy were deemed to have the purest souls, as neither of them told lies during the test. However, housemates have to decide which one of them should receive guru status and win exemption from eviction this week. Housemates chose Tracy. This is Big Brother. Would Tracy come to the diary room? Yeah, well, thank you. Ready, beard and gown. Beard oh, up. my God. Have I got to sleep next to a beard and gown? <laughs> and wiggage. Beard and gown and wiggage. Yeah. Congratulations, Tracy. Thank you! Your soul is an immeasurably deep place. I do well. <laughs> That's really cool of that lot, mate. That's proper fat. It's amazing. It really is. Tracy, shortly you will complete your transition from mortal housemate into bona fide guru housemate. Get in. In front of you is a box containing your guru outfit. You must get changed into your guru outfit immediately. I'm gonna drown. You have to look away. You don't know. Don't say I'll be fine, please. Yeah, don't jinx me, Jerry. Don't jinx me. Jinx me. They will, they will kick you told Chanel guys. she was going we'll in the fifth the week and Laura went, all right? So don't tell me I'll be fine. In the fifth week? Yeah. Don't forget, Jerry, the fifth week. Fifth week. Brian knows all the weeks that everyone <laughs> goes everywhere. Mmm, nice. Tracy, yes. you have successfully completed the transition from mortal housemate to supreme soul guru housemate. Congratulations, Guru Tracy. Get in! Love it. Tracy, the talisman around your neck reflects your strength and higher status and must be worn proudly at all times. OK. Do you understand? Yes, I do. How do you feel, wise Guru? I feel mad, fat and having it. My body's shaking with absolute brilliance. 9.30pm. It's been four hours and 27 minutes since Jerry took his lie detector test. During the test, all mortal housemates were asked if they would betray a fellow housemate to win the £100,000 prize fund. Jerry answered yes. Hello. Oh, you're right. No, it's just I um, just feel for Cherry, really. What's happened? Well, he feels by being honest. He's now going to be hated by yeah, everyone. No, no. What's happened with you two, Mike? Like, it's just not a nice answer, and it's not a bad answer at all. Cause, like, no, but he feels as though he will now be portrayed differently. This is Big Brother. Would Jerry come to the diary room? No, he's not very happy. I'm okay. 
Jerry, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm not okay. Um, it's the first time in ten weeks that I've seriously thought, you know, let's go to the dark room and finish it all over because I don't want to, to harm myself anymore. I fucked up. I don't like using this word, but I fucked up. I've I've done something terrible to myself. After sorry. This is the lowest day in ten weeks. I destroyed everything I was proud of. I was proud about the fact for ten weeks I've been a nice person and I've been there for English everything oh, sorry. I can't speak. I'm too upset. I said my big times and I meant it. I did not come here to win any money. And then I sat in this stupid chair. Oh, this stupid quiz. The, the, the lie detecting thing. And I said that I would have taken the money. And the way I saw it, if there was a suitcase with £100,000, I would have taken it because on my mind I was thinking, well, you know, housemates. There's been lots of housemates. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care if they get the money. And I was thinking of previous housemates. I would have taken Liam's money, for example, because this belongs to Liam. And, and if I had a roof over my head, if I had a job, I would have said that. But I said it, and it was my honest opinion at the time. And I'm thinking about it. And that's it. I will always be perceived as that greedy Greek that came in the Big Brother house. I had up top. <laughs> Eleven twenty seven PM Earlier today Big Brother told John E, Jerry, Carl Louise, Amanda and Sam that they must do all housemates food and drink preparation and all the cleaning until further notice, as punishment for breaking Big Brother rules regarding writing messages. Guru Ziggy, Amanda, Tracy and Sam are in the living area. So you've still got your thing to do tomorrow, we well, can't wash up or nothing. But we've got to do it, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've got to do it until further notice. I like the cooking task. I like cooking. Sounds fun. Carol, Jerry and Johnny are in the bedroom. Earlier today, as part of the lie detector test, Jerry admitted he had lied to the other housemates about his age. I can't believe they really killed me in that way about they, my they, age. They really killed all of us. Yeah. yeah. See, all the things See, that, that, moaning. All, all the things that they do to ridicule you, if you look, actually, they do it to everyone else as well, so it's not an yeah. anti-Jerry thing at all. Guru Ziggy comes to the diary room, wearing his talisman of pig's brain in a jar. Hello, Ziggy. Hi. Um, is there anything I can do anything about this? It absolutely stinks. What does it stink of? Whatever it is, I don't know what it is, but it just smells of it's it's gone off or something, but it really stinks and I can't wear it around my neck, man. So is there any way you get me a new one and a fresh one or something? Please. Like it reeks. I thought it was myself and then I'm walking around trying to work out what the smell was and then you know, luckily I found out that it wasn't myself. Ziggy, how is the mood in the house this evening? Okay, the mood in the house is um I think everyone's pretty low. Uh, you know, Jerry's pretty upset. Um, I've called Jerry a couple of things. Um, I do think he's, you know, he is quite arrogant in the way he talks to people and stuff. Um, well, that's just his manner and that's his way. Maybe I didn't see that a few weeks before, but I've kind of see, been seeing it lately. But one thing I do know that he is, is he's, he's, very, he's, he's a loyal person. Um, and I think he's just been honest. Um, you know, he's, he's, in, he's not doing so well and, you know, doesn't know his situation when he comes out of here. So I think... You know, he's a loyal person. He's not the kind of person to do anyone over. So, um, you know, he's take, he'd be taken wrongly there. 12.20 a.m. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. 
This is Big Brother. Would Carol come to the diary room? Carol, oh, well, what have you done? You haven't done anything. Oh, something I've done wrong. Oh, let me get the door for you. I must do my feet, actually. I've been sitting oh. all night, but I've got my flip flops back now. Don't know. Carol! No, 54 minutes ago, Big Brother announced to the housemates that they had passed this week's shopping task and will receive a luxury shopping budget this week. However, Liam, Brian, Carol, John T, Jerry and Carl Louise failed to gain guru status during the task and will therefore face the public vote. But uh, I don't think it's going to be you. I think it's a double eviction. Don't oh, I don't know. I've be been quite annoying. Cara. Um, it might be me and Carol, actually. No. So you had a difficult week. Look, it matter. People see way past difficult weeks. Look, it, it, this, this is unknowable. Week. We don't know who it's going to be. I mean, horrible. Yeah, just don't even. Yeah, I mean, obviously, horrible. I think it's going to be me. You think it's going to be you. All of us think it's going to be us. We don't know if it's one person. I'm we don't one. Two I'm, people. I'm if it's Wednesday, if it's Friday. I'm Why do you say week. this shit? I don't understand. Look, look, none of us know. In fact, listen. I feel the same. Uh, I'm going to get into the in a good mood. Because I mean, I feel the same as you. I, I assume it's going to be me, but I don't feel bad. See, I feel good in a way that that I've actually survived one. I mean, you don't. You don't. I feel very good. All the positive things. That have happened to I'm you. I'm trying you, to think you, positively that you yeah. know I've done. I've done very well. I've stayed here for a long time. I'm um, very glad if I've stayed for three weeks. I do think uh, I'm. I, I'm constantly. I'm going to get upset now. <laughs> I mean, Ziggy today. Said that um, not only you know does he like me and have a lot of respect for me, but has grown to have a love of me um, insofar as I think you know like a mother type thing, and uh, and I don't really know why. <laughs> I'm just constantly my. <laughs> I just am who I am. And, and the other thing is, I'm, I really have a huge sense of humour and sense of fun. And there's a huge bit of me that's very childlike. And I've lost a bit of that, I think. <laughs> Wednesday. Day 78, 4.06pm. Housemates have been living on basic rations for one week. Big Brother has given the housemates one hour to complete this week's shopping list. One pound fifty. One pound fifty. Take it in the room. Take it in the room. One pound fifty. Listen to me. Just listen to me. Just take it off. No, one pound fifty. No, don't take it off. Yes, yes, yes. One pound fifty. Taken off. One pound fifty. Taken off. Take off the oranges, which are one pound fifty. No, we want some fruit and. Okay. Yeah, we've got yes, bananas and apples. Two, eight, four, we've got bananas eight, one, and apples. No, don't. Yes, Carol, man. Just do it. Let's get this done and let's get the shopping list. Hang on, I haven't added this up yet. Children. Three, it's children. the shopping list, It's £283.31. Yeah, if she takes £1.50 off for the oranges. Yeah, it's two, two, We had oranges yesterday, yeah. all right? And we had apples yesterday. Okay. There's apples and bananas Keep on now. Keep yourself stressing. Two of us will go on Friday or tonight or whatever. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's really it's stupid. Carol, 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 take the tomatoes off no, because Carol, it probably won't Carol, be here anyway. Ah, Carol, you're just being daft now. Just you know what to do? That's full. Yeah. Yeah. So you got four. Shall I take off one pack of chicken and get some chocolate gatos? Get a chocolate gato. All right. And do get and uh, get some get some chocolate, man. Just okay. Some chocolate in there. I will. Take off something. Yeah. I will. All right, nice one, man. All right, then. See you in a bit. That you had asked to do. Guys, we are sweet. What so happened bad, was it? We are came, so sweet. We gave We've it got, to Amanda. You're gonna hear in two hours. We've got so much food and so much shit. We, yeah. we gave it We're to Amanda. We're so cool. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't know you. Were I'm sorry, Carol, but no, it's not sure. It's not. Carol, what's Carol? Carol, would you just you? Carol. It's no, no it's reason to do with you, Brian. I can't be bothered anymore. Carol, I, see, I don't want to make you cry, Carol. This is why I haven't. Anymore. Hey! Big, big stress out. Hello, Amanda. Hi there. Big brother, did you just see that? <laughs> ah! What do we do? See what, Amanda? That massive big argument. Everyone's shouting and crying. It's dead bad. It's mad. 
It's like... Oh, chocolate chip ice cream. Can't believe I'm not getting this. But, brother, what can I take off? I need to take off some rubbish stuff. Amanda, why was everyone upset and crying? Because of food. Because you haven't given us much money. £280 isn't that much money. Can I have an extra bit of money, please? Because if you think about it, we only could survive off £7 per person for basic rations. So this is now... And we had nothing. We had absolutely nothing. There's only three times nothing. Please. Five thirty p.m. Liam, Gurus, Tracy, and Ziggy, and Brian are in the caravan talking about Carol. It's like basically. She's got her arm round and she's looking at everybody else with a shaking head. Right, I, <laughs> you know, right, right, okay. And it's like, she's like saying, I want this and I want that and yeah. I don't want to starve so we're not having drinks and things like that. And it was just things like that, I'm just thinking, like, <laughs> Carl Louise, Carol and Jerry are at the dining table. There's pepper, isn't there? Yeah, pepper, there's no thought. Ah. That's fine, that tastes all right. I'm glad we saved that stock last night. Mm -hmm. Quick and nutritious. Oh. oh. Yeah, I'll break the plate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is that one mine? Blonde. <laughs> John T is in the diary room. How's your day been so far? The shopping thing, everybody got. A little bit stressed, but I think all of the, all of those issues have been uh, sorted out. So I think everybody's sort of uh, calming down now. So that's all. That's all very good. How does it feel to know you have a luxury food shopping list to look forward to? I'm extremely grateful for that. I think that will um, heal a lot of the wounds. Oh, I wouldn't really say there were wounds in the house, but I, I think um, uh, most of the disagreements there have been have been as a result of the old shopping list situation. So, so I think this will calm a lot of that down. I think everyone's going to be very happy. I'm very much looking forward to eating chocolate because I haven't had bars of chocolate for a long time. And at home, I normally have at least two a day, which I know doesn't physically do me a lot of good, but it makes me feel very, very good up here. At 14 p.m., Carl Louise and Guru Sam are in the kitchen. Oh, shall I make a salad now for it as well? Yes. Do that. 34 minutes ago, Big Brother told Carol that as punishment for hiding chocolate biscuits, this week's luxury shopping budget will be replaced with a basic one. You know, they could have, they could have pulled me in straight away. Don't work like that. And just evicted me. I just, you know, would have rather have done that. Let you keep the shopping, because people have, you know, gone without this week and, and worked hard. Yeah, but we will do it again, mate, don't you worry. We're strong. What we've got, we'll survive, because we've put it all together, haven't we? So we'll do it differently this week. We'll put it all together, and that makes sense, doesn't it? Well, I think it does. So we'll all get a meal, at least. This time, your stomach will start shrinking. So <laughs> you won't want to eat so much. Liam, Brian and Jerry are at the bar. Then we might get treats and stuff. I mean, definitely there will be treats. I don't reckon we get treats, Jerry. We should have a lot about it, we haven't we? Well, it's so nice that we passed, don't it? Mm. That we passed, we know that. Yeah, we passed. We should have a lot and take it in the chin. <laughs> Guru Amanda is in the diary room, reading out the replacement budget shopping list to Big Brother. And then lastly, how many um, whole meal outs have you recorded? How many have you recorded? <laughs> Three. <laughs> How many have you recorded? Big Brother has recorded... Three. Excellent. So I think it should be fine. Maybe you should look through this again, but I think you've got it all right, and I've put you to every single one of these, and I know I've definitely read out the separate ones, so you can't rip us off that, and then... I just hope you bring us all this because we'll starve or else. So thank you. Oh yeah, and also, what was another question? Oh, I don't think I've got any more questions. Oh yeah. Guru Amanda. Yeah. Big Brother would like to assure you that Big Brother does not rip you off. Okay then, I believe you. 
Um, also, um, do you know when we can get this shopping? Because we're wasting away. Guru, Amanda, Big Brother will let you know. Will let me know. OK, thanks very much. How has your afternoon been, Guru, Amanda? Not good, because we passed the task. And then, um, and then we've got new food. <laughs> it's a bit crap. Wednesday, dear 78, 9.52pm. Most of the housemates are in the living area. As punishment for breaking Big Brother rules, gurus Amanda and Sam, Carl Louise, Jerry and Jonty must prepare all food and drink and do all house cleaning until further notice. I just blew up and say, what's under that kettle boiling? Two seconds. <laughs> Can't she finish her story while she's walking into the kettle? I'm going to start putting some rank here. Oh, here it is. You obviously oh. do. They didn't rule break, they wouldn't be in that position now. Literally, is this a punishment on them or us? It's, it's, it's a punishment for us. It is a punishment for us. Because you can't do it, like, we weren't saying to eat or drink, and you can't do it. <laughs> she's pretentious, kind of, isn't she? She's the lazy twin. What? Sam. What? Lazy twin. Yeah, big time. She, she's put her hands around her face now. What's that? Johnny, you don't have to make ask it. Ask stuff off Sam, she wants you oh. here to get me. Johnny! You ask for stuff off Sam, she here to get me. Uh, uh, how many teas? One, please, mate. One, two, three, four. Um, the, uh, I don't have no milk, come on, Johnny. No milk, mate. Thank, Thank you, you, Johnty. Cheers, mate. Um, Thank there. you, Johnty. Manda, can Manda. I have another milk, please? Manda? The, um... The pink cup is mine. Just reuse it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Manny. Strong, please. It, it was, I've, got, I've left it. It's cold. Thanks. Ah. 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 Cheers, Tom. Well, I'm mining the fresh cup, man. What? Fresh cup for me. <laughs> I don't want to punish me. No, do mine in the armor mug mug, please, man. <laughs> mine doesn't have milk. I'm going to put chilli powder in it. Do you know what it is? This punishment's worse for us, like. It is. Can you get my arm on mug mug down, please, man? It's for you. I don't think so. You don't have to do everything. Well, you don't do out anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate being a slave. Jerry is in the diary room. Um, on the subject of food and the punishment of Carol, I think, see, you know, she made a mistake, mistake of judgment, but we all ate those bloody biscuits, so we're all guilty. She was giving. She didn't hide them for herself. How is the rest of the house coping this evening? Terrible. Terrible. Um, we're all looking at the storeroom. We're looking at the, the storeroom. When is the door going to open to get all these goodies? And then Carol came and said, you know, sorry, guys, it's not going to happen. I'm punished. So I think, you know, the morale is very, very low, as it has been many times, but this time is extremely low. Uh, the adult male needs 3,000 calories. The adult fem female needs 2,000 calories. I think we're only getting 1,500 calories a day. I mean, the boys, we're losing weight. I've probably lost two or three kilos in, in one week, and I'm going to lose a lot more until Friday, which is going to be a good thing, after all, because uh, I would like to walk out in this slim line figure with my now, oh, I've got this beautiful jacket to wear on my eviction. And I'm going to look fantastic and no more, well, I'm, I'm going to have my double chin, but no more baby fat. No baby fat. 11.08 p.m. Some of the housemates are at the sofas. I'm just going to go to my bed. Go, 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 no sex, no food. I'm gonna leave this place. Sorry, guys. I'm just, you know, all my pleasures have been taken away from me. How about dream? Try the BB diet. Rich in carbohydrates, low in protein, fat. <laughs> Lose weight in the BB house asylum. <laughs> Hello, Guru Sam. Hi. How are you? Bored. Why are you bored? Because. He hadn't given us no food, so he's uh, so, so starving and I was looking forward to cookies today. And also, you're making me be a slave and I hate it. I hate it because I feel like I want a cleaning show. I don't like it because I have to 
um, cook, then clean, and then put away. Then cook, then clean, and put away. Then cook, and clean, and put away. And it's the most boring thing I've ever done in my entire life, and I feel like I should be getting paid for it, because I feel like I'm at work, and now I feel like I'm knackered from being at work, and I hate it. I feel like a slender rally. It's so boring. It's the boringest thing you could have ever made us do. Why didn't you just, I don't know, just don't dress as a hot dog or something? Actually, this is a punishment, making us wear these horrible outfits for ages, where we look like men, nana, granddad things or something. And this hair is so itchy on my head, and it's disgusting. I've tried to make it look nicer by putting pink and putting in a bubble, but it still looks disgusting. And it's uncomfy. Why do we have to keep wearing these? Don't understand anyway. Because you are a guru, Sam. But gurus are meant to feel um, important, but I'm a slave, so I don't. And like, Big Brother, you're just making it the most boring thing ever now because everyone is like stressing over the littlest things ever, like food or um, things that are sad. And it's doing my head in. I just think that everyone's just like stressing about nothing. Like, it's funny. 12.54 a.m. Carol, Jonty, Jerry and Guru Sam are at the sofas. We're like a piece of toast <laughs> as we speak. Eat your orange? Yeah, oh yeah, you have an orange. You have the only piece of food in the house and it is your property. Yeah, my property is an orange. Why don't you, well none of us have anything, enjoy eating it. I like to juice it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shall I throw it to you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, probably, you okay? Is, oh, sorry about with that. With that money, we could have... <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Chanty. <laughs> I think you should have your own show if you're hungry. It's better than that. Yeah. Yeah, how come yeah. you're not eating Where is Where's my digestive? Sorry, my orange. I don't eat oranges. But well, so you're not that hungry, then. It doesn't even... It you're doesn't not that hungry, then? No, I just don't want, you know... Don't eat oranges. I squeeze them. I would love would to. Would you like the three of us to share? Well, you could have, you want, you you like could have actually do? exchanged it with really an apple you. from someone. Does anybody has an apple? No, they don't because they were eaten last night. You Why are you so aggressive now? I'm not. You, you this keep is going Big Brother. Around. Would Carol come to the diary room? What, what now? I don't know. I don't know. What have I done? I'm, I'm just hungry, that's all. Don't chat. I'm just very miserable because I have Richard. nothing to eat. Um, yeah, Richard. Liam and Guru Amanda are in the garden. Well, I think it's a bit too much for what they've done by taking the whole look. Do you know what I mean? Pass the tap, they should just uh, like anything. They could have done absolutely anything. Like, so, like, right, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. I've done it, anything. Probably was like, say that, but it's too hard. I don't know. Right. Just take the whole, what we've worn off, it's just because. Give another box of gloves again for a week or so. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Carol. Hiya. How are you this evening? Fine, thanks. Now what have I done? What's the mood like in the house at the moment? Well, between Jerry and I, it's a bit fraught, actually, because having spent the last uh, 24 hours at least screaming for something sweet, screaming about um, being starving, which he's certainly not. He might be very hungry, but he doesn't know what starving is. Um, you know, he's now gone into a big scene because, uh, uh, because of the biscuit situation. I mean, one of the problems really is that, um, I've got fat reserves and my body will start eating into those fat reserves if I'm hungry. Um, people who are slim in this house and using up a lot of calories and energy will burn off more and get hungrier quicker. And that's why Jerry goes on and on about being a six foot three, which I think is six foot one actually, but male and needing at least 3,000 calories to sustain his weight. However, this is also the bloody bloke who for the last uh, three lots of evictions has been going, oh, I can't wear that because look at my tummy. How will my prospective lovers see me? <laughs> um, Oh, I can't wear that because, look, uh, it makes me look fat and I can't wear my slim top because I have to have a flat stomach and I can't... You know, so there's all this image stuff going on and um, 
and then you know moans that he's hungry so nobody can win whoever does that whoever does the shopping thing is not going to please everybody and oh, I've got beard hair there um, you know it's it's difficult really 2.23 a.m. 12 minutes ago, Carol and Jerry had an argument over Jerry's breakfast. Liam, Guru Ziggy, Brian and Jerry are in the garden talking about Carol. And then she came out of the diary room, you know, in quite a mood, you know, funny mood. And then, you know, I said, oh, I was, you know, I didn't have breakfast today. And I, what fucking breakfast you had? And she said, I'm not going to accept somebody speaking to me like that. I don't speak to her like that. I respect her. I'm hugging her in the garden. I'm, I'm, I'm cuddling her. I mean, please calm down. Nobody, I've never, ever accused her for, for, for the, for the basics of my budget. <laughs> I've never mentioned it. Not having, coming anywhere near my mouth. I've treated her with respect. I'm cuddling her. I'm hugging her. Please, Carol, you know, oh, calm down. It's not your part. It's not <laughs> your fault. She and she's speaking to me like that. Well, no, I'm not going to speak to her. You know, I'm just going to go angry. She doesn't have the right to speak to me like that. Jerry, chill and still, man. Have a party. Jerry, can I get some trunks on? No, I'm fine. The rest of the housemates are in the bedroom. You know, and I just feel as I'm alienating Jerry now, and I don't want to do that. No. But, I, you know, I'm fed up with him moaning and moaning and moaning about stuff, and then he's all excited about this, and then no, he no. moans. You know, and he scoffs and scoffs it all, and then he's very secretive about it. Who had all the chocolate in the drawer? Yeah, exactly. Before? Well, I bloody didn't. Yeah, that's right. Who shares it with only the people they want them to have it? Yeah. Well, not me. You know, if there's something, then it goes out to everyone. Jerry comes to the diary room. Hello, Jerry. Hello. Um, I, just, I just had a huge, like, not argument, but, you know, heated dialogue with Carol, at the moment, she's accusing herself for the lack of food, and she has become very, very defensive. She's trying to convince herself that there's plenty of food in the house, nobody's hungry, and she's, oh. Carol is a mother, and it's her character is to be a mother, and her character is to look after people, and she sees now a whole house being hungry, including me, and, you know, I'm, I'm quite, you know, I'm saying, oh, God, I'm so hungry, and this is the twins mourning about being hungry, and this is Ziggy being hungry, and she's accusing herself, because you've punished her by taking all the food away from the house. We would have had a luxury budget this evening, and instead we, we have finished all the basic rations from last week, and we have no food, and she's accusing herself, and she's feeling like shit at the moment, and she's falling apart into pieces before... Before she got into the diary room, she said, I wish I had never given you those fucking two biscuits. I was like, I couldn't believe it, you know, but I didn't say anything. I just kept on my mouth. And I have never, ever, for a single moment, I swear to God, said, Carl, you're responsible for us not having food as we speak. Not for a single moment. We all ate those bloody biscuits. I had no idea where they came from. We all ate them. I, I was, I, you know, I, I care for her so much, I will never, ever say to her your response for, for hiding those biscuits. And this is due to you. This is due to her punishment. Can you punish her in a different way? No, you had to punish her in the way that hurts her most, by taking away the food from her children, because she loves her so much. And this is the way she is like that. It's not Carol, it's, it's your big brother. Next time on Diary Room Uncut... If anyone would think Freddie and Monkey Tunk that he actually went to these places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a bit calmer than I was. Thank you very much for my lovely yeah, holidays. Look, 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 I've been all over the world in one day. And you can see that on another episode of Diary Room Uncut tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Up next, well, we're quicking, popping in for a live house call. <laughs>